guys. My music intro. That was shipped in all the way from Russia, tuned specifically to Trinity's request. I love it. I'm breaking away from telling the normal part of my story. Hey, Suzanne. Um, it's going to be a little poetry reading tonight. Yeah. What's that about? Well, I've been talking about Wibblery and Wub and how you share it. How you communicate it. How you express this energy of soul that flows through us and comes out. How do we communicate in a censored world? Uh, Orwellian world, where the words have all changed. Words have been added. There are words we use now that didn't exist when I was a child. So, what is a wib? A wib is a wub, energy soul, embodied. Now, I'm in capital letters, a W-I-B. I'm a wib. I'm a energy of soul embodied in a human being that represents energy of soul. Now, as pure as I can be, I'm a light, a filament shining on the inside of the skin where you can see me. As long as I'm alive, I'm moving around, I'm animated. Yeah. And so along that line, I'm going to read you some of my poetry. Darby. I'm Darby, by the way, and introduce myself, Darby Leddick. I'm the ghostwriter for Salvage Texas and for Brad Cattell. And these are some of the poems of Wibblery and Wub brought to you by Rubbles. Now, I just posted some pictures. I'm trying to post some pictures up there on Facebook. And they don't seem to be taken too well. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this button and see if they fly out there. And if they do, there's going to be some pictures of Rubbles out there. And Darby. And these are pictures that were drawn... 40 years ago. Yeah. And so we're going to find out if they post. They're not showing. Like they act like they don't want to post. But we're going to try this. Now I'm going to read this poem. Now, for those of you who haven't seen, don't know anything about Rubbles and Darby and all this stuff, um, this is Darby. And he's having a nightmare. And you can't read it because it's all ass backwards on there. So that's why you have to go to the website. Or go to, um, right now, would you believe Facebook? I know. I love Facebook, don't you? Yeah. They're so nice to me. They're going to send this out to thousands and thousands of people, right, Facebook? Thank you. Now, we do know better, but we're in a fantasy world writing a book about fantasy. And one of those fantasies is that Facebook's actually going to treat me fair for a change. Now, why would they want to shadow ban some old coot that's just going to read some dumb ass poetry right now? This is wib wishing. Wib wishing. Hmm. I wished upon a wibbable. Wait a second. Ah, what is a wibbable? A wibbable is a wib that I created. Um, it's a touchable, soft little thing. It might be a maybe a um, a carving. It might be something I created that's just for you. Artwork. It might be a poem. It might be something I drew. Music. That it's a web. It's a web, my energy soul, embodied. So, I wished upon a wibble one lost and lonely day. I thought of how I missed you all this time you've been away. I wibbled on my wib to know, till suddenly I knew I had to send a token of this wub I hold for you. This little wib is warm and soft, just like the dreams we share. Informed with wub, a wibbable, my wubbing heart is there. So please accept my wibblery as loving words of wub. And when you're feeling lonely, just give your wib a rub. Then think about the good times that we'll share again someday. Instead of wibbleizing, 
will wobble time away. Now, what is wobbling? Well, that's communicating through touch. You know, a kiss without a mask, a caress without a latex glove. Going to bed with each other without being perhaps in a rubber suit. Or it might just be wobbling as simple as just hugging your child. A hug is wobbling. It's communicating through touch. One of the most valuable things we have. And you put a glove on it and you put a mask on it. And you haven't even seen your grandma in 18 years. You don't know what she looks like because you've been wearing a mask since you were a little baby. Kiss grandma. So, wobbling is how we touch. It's very important. We're losing this, this aspect of physical communication. I am not enchanted by the thought. This was written 40 years ago. Here's another one. It's called Within My Web. Something I created for you. Life's precious thoughts, I love so dear, have all been caught and hidden here. So now and then when I am sad, I look inside at thoughts I've had and wonder why, though they are clear, nobody else can see them here. You see, one of the beautiful things about having a memento or something you make for somebody special, somebody you've established weblock with, Wublock. What is Wublock? Wublock is a bond of two souls, two spirits, two beings. It's not wedlock. That's a contract that you get into and you get a divorce and you lose a bunch of money and children. And that's wedlock. That's why you're in physical incarnation contract thing. Yeah. Wublock is bonded spirits, friends. We're in war. We're battling together. You're at my back. You're defending me. I trust you with my life. You die before a sword touches my back. Likewise for you. I will not abandon you. We have Wublock. We have an establishment of soul bond. That's truth. That's honor. Some people don't want that. They'll never find Wublock. They'll never be able to wobble and touch and really convey their heart through their fingertips or their kiss. That's wobbling. The web, what you create. The key is simplicity, a casual form of my thoughts on you, a magical dream, peaceful times and natural smiles, springtime melting into summer, oranges, reds, and autumn's mellow. It's simple dream, and so a simple product. But depths expound the slightest shred of light. So much you miss if you don't have the light inside to see it with. You can see with your eyes. You can see with your ears, if you're just hearing me right now. Think about this for a second. This is a very important part about these masks, these mankind asphyxiation society killing systems. Masks. If I have one on and you're deaf and you spent your youth learning how to read my lips so you wouldn't appear broken. Because people think that people are deaf or stupid for some reason because they can't hear them. When I was younger and lived in Oklahoma, I knew people in deaf school. I knew kids that were deaf. And they, this woman was so good at reading her lips, you couldn't tell she was deaf. And when she spoke, she had a little bit of a speech impediment, but it's because she was just, I mean, stone deaf. She taught kids how to read lips. So well that they could be watching me right now and know what I'm saying. So well that I knew a kid, a bicycle, taxi, cab, driver, deaf who could read lips so well, you could not tell he was deaf. How are they surviving with these masks on, my friends? Do you realize you're making a deaf person deaf again because you refuse to go ahead and expose your lips? 
Does anybody think about that at all? That you got a lot of deaf people out there that have suddenly gone deaf again after spending their life instead of learning hand signs because nobody knows hand signs. They learned how to read lips. Read my lips. That's not fair. Nobody has the right to take away their right to hear us, to communicate with us. And now you want to take them off the internet too? Excuse me. I disagree. Alrighty, here's a simple one. Wibbling. Wibbling is mentally, telepathy, communicating with each other. Without wibbling, which is what I'm doing right now on the web. Have you ever had a bond with anybody? A bond is so strong that you think about calling them and they call you. You think about them and they say, you know, I just think about you. Yeah, that's called telepathy. That's called wibbling. Wibbling is communicating this thought, a wib, a thought, and materializing in somebody else's mind or heart. There's some tricks to that, by the way. Don't go, mm, think, think, think hard. Just think about it and then, boom, shoot it. Visualize it to them. If they're open to you, they'll let you in. They'll get through that door. So it's about wibbling. I wibbled with my cats till dawn and wibbled while at work. My wub for you stays ever strong. Hmm. Wherever doubt may will lurk. My wib and I speak wibbly to give me strength and will. To last without your wubbling, babe, I find I wibble still. Thus so in hopes you'll share with me this wub that grows for you. I send my wib in wibbable. Please wibble for me too. Wibble for me. Let's think about me. Think about me with loving thoughts. Think about me when I can't be there to touch you from a distance. That's wibbling. When my grandma passed away, I was an army soldier in Germany. I hadn't seen her in a long time. Yet at the end of my bed, when she left, she stopped by in Germany from Michigan. Said goodbye. Your mind can do a lot of things. Trust me. Wibbling is one of them. I never knew a wibbler who truly could deny. It was his faithful wib that gave him will when friends were shy. With no one near to watch him, he would wibble out his woes, wishing for more strength to fight the woeing wibbler blues. On lonely nights, when without warmth and wanting for some wub, a wibbler knows his wibbly can keep his spirits up. For laughter follows wibbly wherever lovers hide, and wibbleizing wins new wub. For anyone who tries, wibble if you dare, wobble if you care. This is a wib. This is a creation, a wibble. Something manifested out of my mind. This is coffee coming out of a beer mug, so don't think I'm an alcoholic. Actually, I don't drink alcohol at all. I don't approve of drinking large amounts of alcohol. Now, this is a couple more, just real quick, and I'm going to get done. I know this is crazy. I'm doing poems about something nobody's ever heard of called Wibblery, which is going to be around the world soon as a virus because Wub is inside of all of us coming out from the inside. Energy of soul, spirit, God thought, manifesting in the form of a creation or two or three. And everybody makes a Wib. Well, you'll see. This is, must be a birthday web, a birthday poem, a creation. Wibblery and wub, my friend. I've wibbled time and time again to strengthen me when times were hard, to wibble eyes when dreams were scarred, to aid me in my nights alone, providing me with wub for warmth. My wib has made my life more fun. I cannot count the wub it's won. And so I send a wib to you. A wibble for inside, too. And wishes that you'll also see the wub that comes with wibbly. 
if you're a Weber, a Weber, that's somebody who believes in Web, this energy of soul. You call it prana, you can call it a lot of different names. Chi, orgone energy. There's lots of names, but in Wibbery, it's called Web. A world union of beings, coincidentally. You use the same little hash marks going all the way back to the Sumerian language. And you create web. And you create wib. And that's the root words for wibbly, which is only a few words. We, W I I, all of us eyes together, helping me, me, these two eyes, working with my spiritual eye, my pineal gland, my connection to a God, not a person sitting up there at the table saying, okay, you get it, you don't get it. No, 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 no God in the spiritual sense that there's a oneness of everybody that has a God per se, they name different names, but there is a oneness of energy that makes life possible. The grand computer programmer that puts our holographic world together for us, ultimately, is he conscious as a single personality? I doubt it. How can you manifest a cosmos, per se, except through all of us little teeny lights working together? There's a lot of administration involved. Incarnation, out of carnation, and what are you doing in between? And hey, are you just this horsey, egotistical, and asshole when you're a spirit as you are when you're a human? <sighs> Big questions for small minds. I work on these things, believe it or not. Here's another one. New web is spreading round the world, and soon the web will be the symbol for man everywhere who knows of wibbly. Old words of love have never told as we relate today of wub and how we touch through life, but somehow seldom say that deep inside we really care for certain friends, though few. With who what was more wonderful than all the rest we knew. Wublock is that bond of trust I share with few like you. Guys, those of you stuck with me all these years while well, I managed to scare everybody and their brother off, talking crazy crap about building houses out of trash and not have any toxins in your house, and not importing anything, and not cutting down trees, and using up a bunch of, of energy to make glass, when I mean, you don't need to, because there's already a bunch of old glass out there, and you know what, you can build a house with 20 gallons of diesel fuel, and that counts what it takes to go ahead and cut all the boards you might have to cut and paint. You have to make a few nails, you have to make a few screws, you have to maybe make some insulation and a wrapper for the outside of the house. Otherwise, you can just about build an entire tiny house to live in, and a group of tiny houses, a community. That's where you commune together, you share, you talk, you communicate about unity. You create a community out of communicating about unity together. Kind of a crazy idea, isn't it? And if you applied that on a global scale, because we can communicate on a global scale. Right now I'm communicating with people all the way over in, jeez, New Zealand, Australia. Depending on what time I get on here, if they're awake or not, instantly. This is a miraculous, phenomenal thing. And if enough of us got together and created this network all around the world... A world union of beings, and that means cats, dogs, whales, and all sorts of other things that deserve some respect and to be treated right. And I got a strong feeling that 11 million babies every year could probably go ahead and find parents if we could find a way to go ahead and produce them properly and get some people off of drugs and help them out because they don't really want to be that state. Most people are just there because they're victimized or feeling like victims. Well, this energy of soul that comes through us, that lights this filament up, that makes it possible for anybody to recover their life if they want to, to go like I did and go from a crippled old man back into being a 29-year-old with gray hair. So I can go ahead and do what I was going to do before my son was born, before I got caught up in the money, before I became a multi-millionaire, only to figure out how am I going to give that all away to the deserving people that will go ahead and carry on a quantum story. How does a 
broken, poor child help change the world? Well, first you got to let him be born. My mother's favorite joke through my childhood with friends around. Yeah, she's a really pretty woman. Intelligent. Big breasts. Less teeth. She had me when she was about 19. Bit of a surprise. I was a bit of a precocious child. My mother had an interesting sense of humor. Her favorite joke? Yeah. If abortions could be retroactive, I wouldn't exist. And she said it with a smile. And she laughed. And even some of her friends laughed. I don't have any heirs left. That I know of. I may. Because I wasn't the most disciplined child. In my youth. In my 20s. And if I do, I pray to God. They come. I see him. I meet him. We test, we find out for sure, because, please, I'd love to know if I had any more kids out there. And the last thing I would do at this age is abort one, if I had that chance to do it again and again and again. Because I'd be a better father this time. So I want to help those kids I can't bear myself, and I won't have grandchildren any other way than to help yours. Help me help your grandkids. Help me spread the word that this is possible. Help me show how to build houses out of trash that goes into the dump otherwise. Help me write stupid poetry that everybody will read because I'm just a crazy old man on the hill not worth censoring. Just talk about it. Just... Talk about how crazy that son of a bitch is. I've done a bunch to prove it. Believe me, ain't nobody else out there that's done as much as I have to prove that you don't have anything to worry about. In fact, my most popular video. I mean, these babies on here, I ain't getting nothing for traffic. And it isn't even obscene. I don't even talk. There ain't no music. It's called Darby Does Skinny Dip Pond. And all I do is show my white little butt. And go for a swim. And get out. And I got 750,000 views. So why am I talking? Why bother? Because 2,000 of you maybe will see this. And if I post it on YouTube, why wow, they give me almost 80 hits so far. 80 people they got to show it to. Yeah. I'm popular. In my own mind, as they say. Now I have a newsletter, and I have a history. And if you look up on YouTube, you'll find uh, when Brad Cattell was a businessman. You look up Brad Cattell, there's pages and pages on the man. And he left us this huge reserve of warehouses full of stuff for us to go ahead and hand out to him. Small businesses. They want to open up pure salvage outposts that will spread that web, the creative power to create dog houses. Chicken coops to make food for families that they can go home and create together. Houses that become playhouses that become that room outside where you grow into when you're 17 years old. I had a little trailer, a little small tiny trailer when I was 16, 17. My last year at home before I graduated high school at 17. With $4 in my pocket, I jumped on my 10-speed four days later and left. Never went back. As a matter of fact, it was 32 years from my dad, my brother, and sister, and I ever stepped into the same room together again. So, y'all around the world, you're my family. I want to tell you something. This energy of soul, I got it hardwired, tapped, grounded. I got so much of it you can't imagine. And once I got rid of that anger and that being upset about those cards I got dealt, once I understood that was so I'd be strong 
And I'd understand all these archetypes. And when our government got really crazy, well, then it'd be my turn to step up to the plate and try to help. So all you people locked inside, all you people scared and afraid, don't be. Please, have faith. Those legions of light, those legions that were supposed to show up, Step up to the plate when the going gets tough. Some God, some place was supposed to send. Well, I think they're going to arrive. I think they've been here waiting for the right time. We got angels on that side of the ether. Helpers, you might say multi-dimensional world we've got other beings in the universe in the cosmos they've been around a whole bunch longer than us watching us play this stupid game of who wins who loses are we worth saving as a species and how do you find out you come down and live a life you see how you get treated You go up to the doors as a beggar and you knock. And you find out if that person lets you in and feeds you or if they send you down the road with a stick upon your back. You eat out of the dumpster because you got no food. And you wonder if they're going to throw it at you when they come out there, call the police, or give you a little bit more. Everybody, reach down deep. Share the web, the energy of soul, the spirit. We can get together. If you would, do it for me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you.